Hippolytus of Rome 170 AD was one of the most important 3rd century theologians in the Diocese of Rome, where he was probably born. Photios I of Constantinople describes him in his Bibliotheca Cod, 121, as a disciple of Irenaeus, who was said to be a disciple of Polycarp, and from the context of this passage it is supposed that he suggested that Hippolytus so styled himself. However, this assertion is doubtful. He came into conflict with the popes of his time and seems to have headed a schismatic group as a rival to the Bishop of Rome, thus becoming an antipope. He opposed the Roman popes who softened the penitential system to accommodate the large number of new pagan converts. However, he was reconciled to the Church before he died as a martyr. Starting in the 4th century, various legends arose about him, identifying him as a priest of the Novationist Schism or as a soldier converted by St. Lawrence. He has also been confused with another martyr of the same name. Pope Pius IV identifies him as Saint Hippolytus, Bishop of Pontus, who was martyred in the reign of Severus Alexander through his inscription on a statue found at the Church of Saint Lawrence in Rome and kept at the Vatican as photographed and published in Brunson. Topic: Life. Topic. As a presbyter of the Church at Rome under Pope Zephyrinus (199–217 AD), Hippolytus was distinguished for his learning and eloquence. It was at this time that Origen, then a young man, heard him preach. He accused Pope Zephyrinus of modalism, the heresy which held that the names Father and Son are simply different names for the same subject. Hippolytus championed the Logos doctrine of the Greek apologists, most notably Justin Martyr, which distinguished the Father from the Logos word. An ethical conservative, he was scandalized when Pope Calixtus I (217–222 AD) extended absolution to Christians who had committed grave sins, such as adultery. Hippolytus himself advocated a pronounced rigorism. At this time, he seems to have allowed himself to be elected as a rival bishop of Rome, and continued to attack Pope Urban I (222–230 AD) and Pope Pontian (230–235 AD). G. Salmon suggests that Hippolytus was the leader of the Greek-speaking Christians of Rome. Alan Brent sees the development of Roman house churches into something akin to Greek philosophical schools gathered around a compelling teacher. Under the persecution at the time of Emperor Maximinus Thrax, Hippolytus and Pontian were exiled together in 235 to Sardinia, likely dying in the mines. It is quite probable that, before his death there, he was reconciled to the other party at Rome, for, under Pope Fabian 236-250 AD, his body and that of Pontian were brought to Rome. The so-called chronography of 354 more precisely, the Liberian catalogue reports that on August 13, probably in 236, the two bodies were interred in Rome, that of Hippolytus in a cemetery on the Via Tibertina, his funeral being conducted by Justin the Confessor. This document indicates that, by about 255, Hippolytus was considered a martyr and gives him the rank of a priest, not of a bishop, an indication that before his death the schismatic was received again into the church. <inaudible> Legends the facts of his life as well as his writing were soon forgotten in the West, perhaps by reason of his criticism of the bishops of Rome and because he wrote in Greek. Pope Damasus I dedicated to him one of his famous epigrams, making him, however, a priest of the Novationist Schism, a view later accepted by Prudentius in the 5th century in his Passion of Saint Hippolytus. In the Passionals of the 7th and 8th centuries he is represented as a soldier converted by Saint Lawrence, a legend that long survived in the Roman breviary. He was also confused with a martyr of the same name who was buried in Portus, of which city he was believed to have been a bishop, who was put to death by drowning in a deep well. According to Prudentius' account, Hippolytus was dragged to death by wild horses, a striking parallel to the story of the mythological Hippolytus, who was dragged to death by wild horses at Athens. He described the subterranean tomb of the saint and states that he saw there a picture representing Hippolytus' execution. He also confirms August 13 as the date on which a Hippolytus was celebrated but this again refers to the convert of Lawrence, as preserved in the Menion of the Eastern Orthodox Church. The latter account led to Hippolytus being considered the patron saint of horses. During the Middle Ages, sick horses were brought to St. Hippolytes, Hertfordshire, England, where a church is dedicated to him. 
Topic: Writings. Topic: Hippolytus' principal work is the refutation of all heresies. Of its ten books, Book One was the most important. It was long known and was printed with the title Philosophumina among the works of Origen. Books two and three are lost, and books IVX were found, without the name of the author, in a monastery of Mount Athos in 1842. E. Miller published them in 1851 under the title Philosophumina, attributing them to Origen of Alexandria. They have since been attributed to Hippolytus. In 1551 a marble statue of a seated figure originally female, perhaps personifying one of the sciences was purportedly found in the cemetery of the Via Tibertina and was heavily restored. On the sides of the seat was carved a paschal cycle, and on the back the titles of numerous writings by Hippolytus. Many other works are listed by Eusebius of Caesarea and Jerome. Hippolytus' voluminous writings, which for variety of subject can be compared with those of Origen, embrace the spheres of exegesis, homiletics, apologetics and polemic, chronography, and ecclesiastical law. Hippolytus recorded the first liturgical reference to the Virgin Mary, as part of the ordination rite of a bishop, of exegetical works usually attributed to Hippolytus, the best preserved are the commentary on the prophet Daniel and the commentary on the Song of Songs. This is the earliest attested Christian interpretation of the song, covering only the first three chapters to Song 3-7. The commentary on the Song of Songs survives in two Georgian manuscripts, a Greek epitome, a Paleo-Slavonic florilegium, and fragments in Armenian and Syriac as well as in many patristic quotations, especially in Ambrose of Milan's exposition on Psalm chapter 118 -119. It is generally regarded as an instruction relating to a post-baptismal rite of anointing with oil as a symbol of receiving the Holy Spirit. The commentary was originally written as part of a mystagogy, an instruction for new Christians. Scholars have usually assumed the commentary on the Song of Songs was originally composed for use during Passover, a season favored in the West for baptism. Hippolytus supplied his commentary with a fully developed introduction known as the Schema Isagogicum, indicating his knowledge of the rhetorical conventions for teachers discussing classical works. He employs a common rhetorical trope, ekphrasis, using images on the walls or floors of Greco-Roman homes, and in the catacombs as paintings or mosaics. Origen felt that the song should be reserved for the spiritually mature and that studying it might be harmful for the novice. About 215, he wrote the Apostolic Tradition, which contains the earliest known ritual of ordination. The influence of Hippolytus was felt chiefly through his works on chronography and ecclesiastical law. His Chronicle of the World, a compilation embracing the whole period from the creation of the world up to the year 234, formed a basis for many chronographical works both in the East and West. It is from the apostolic tradition that the current words of episcopal ordination in the Catholic Church come from, as updated by Pope Paul VI. In the great compilations of ecclesiastical law that arose in the East since the 3rd century, the Church orders many canons were attributed to Hippolytus, for example in the canons of Hippolytus or the constitutions through Hippolytus. How much of this material is genuinely his, how much of it worked over, and how much of it wrongly attributed to him, can no longer be determined beyond dispute, however a great deal was incorporated into the Fetha Negist, which once served as the constitutional basis of law in Ethiopia where he is still remembered as Abulides. During the early 20th century the work known as the Egyptian Church Order was identified as the apostolic tradition and attributed to Hippolytus, nowadays this attribution is hotly contested. Differences in style and theology lead some scholars to conclude that some of the works attributed to Hippolytus actually derive from a second author. Two small but potentially important works, on the Twelve Apostles of Christ and on the Seventy Apostles of Christ, are often neglected because the manuscripts were lost during most of the Church Age and then found in Greece in the 19th century. As most scholars consider them to not have been written by him, they are often ascribed to pseudo Hippolytus. The two are included in an appendix to the works of Hippolytus in the voluminous collection of early Church Fathers. The work on the Seventy Apostles is noteworthy as a potentially early source. Topic. Eschatology Topic. Hippolytus is an important figure in the development of Christian eschatology. 
In On Christ and the Antichrist and commentary on the prophet Daniel Hippolytus gave his interpretation of Bible prophecies. With the onset of persecutions during the reign of Septimus Severus, many early Christian writers turned to eschatology. On Christ and the Antichrist is one of his earliest works. Hippolytus was greatly influenced by Irenaeus. However, unlike Irenaeus, Hippolytus focuses on the meaning of prophecy for the Church in his own time. Of the dogmatic works, On Christ and the Antichrist survives in a complete state and was probably written about 202. Hippolytus follows the long-established usage in interpreting Daniel's 70 prophetic weeks to be weeks of literal years. Hippolytus gave an explanation of Daniel s paralleling prophecies of chapters 2 and 7, which he, as with the other fathers, specifically relates to the Babylonians, Persians, Greeks, and Romans. His interpretation of events and their significance is Christological. He stated that Rome would be partitioned into ten kingdoms and these in turn would be followed by the rise of the dread Antichrist, who would oppress the saints. This would be ended by Christ's second advent, the resurrection of the righteous, and the destruction of said Antichrist. After which would come the judgment and burning up of the wicked, Hippolytus did not subscribe to the belief that the second coming was imminent. He was apparently the first to set a specific date for the second advent through calculation, A.D. 500, which was 260 years after his time. He assumed, like Irenaeus his teacher, that inasmuch as God made all things in six days, and these days symbolize a thousand years each, in six thousand years from the creation the end will come. He apparently based his calculation on the Septuagint which had the world beginning about 5500 BC. Topic feast days Topic In the Eastern Orthodox Church, the feast day of St. Hippolytus falls on August 13, which is also the apodosis of the Feast of the Transfiguration. Because on the apodosis the hymns of the Transfiguration are to be repeated, the feast of St. Hippolytus may be transferred to the day before or to some other convenient day. The Eastern Orthodox Church also celebrates the feast of St. Hippolytus Pope of Rome on January 30, who may or may not be the same individual. The Roman Catholic Church celebrates St. Hippolytus jointly with St. Pontian on August 13. The Feast of St. Hippolytus formerly celebrated on of August as one of the companions of St. Timotheus was a duplicate of his 13 August feast and for that reason was deleted when the general Roman calendar was revised in 1969. Earlier editions of the Roman Martyrology referred to of August Hippolytus as Bishop of Porto. The Catholic Encyclopedia sees this as connected with the confusion regarding the Roman presbyter resulting from the acts of the martyrs of Porto. It has not been ascertained whether the memory of the latter was localized at Porto merely in connection with the legend in Prudentius, without further foundation, or whether a person named Hippolytus was really martyred at Porto, and afterwards confounded in legend with Hippolytus of Rome. This opinion is shared by a Benedictine source. Earlier editions of the Roman Martyrology also mentioned on 30 January a Hippolytus venerated at Antioch, but the details it gave were borrowed from the story of Hippolytus of Rome. Modern editions of the Roman Martyrology omit all mention of this supposed distinct Saint Hippolytus of Antioch. Topic see also topic Apostolic tradition Epistle to Diognetus Canons of Hippolytus Josephus's Discourse to the Greeks Concerning Hades Actually by Hippolytus Papal Selection Before 1059 topic Notes topic topic References topic Achilles, Hans Hippolytestudien Leipzig, 1897 Ademar de Alès, La Théologie de Saint Hippolyte Paris, 1906, G.K. Bunsen, Hippolytus and His Age 1852, 2nd ed., 1854, G.E.R., ed. 1853 Cross FL 2005 The Oxford Dictionary of the Christian Church Oxford University Press Dollinger Hippolytus und Callistus Reg NSB 1853 Eng Transl EDINB 1876 Gerhard Ficker Studien zur Hippolite Frage Leipzig 1893 Froom Leroy 1950 The Prophetic Faith of Our Fathers DJVU and PDF 1 Hippolytus 170 to 236 Commentary on Daniel the Anti-Nicene Fathers volume 5 Hippolytus 170 to 236b Treatise on Christ and Antichrist the Anti-Nicene Fathers volume 5 Hippolytus the Treatise on the Apostolic Tradition of Saint Hippolytus of Rome Bishop and Martyr Trans Gregory Dix, London, Alban Press, 1992. J. B. Lightfoot, The Apostolic Fathers, Volume I, Part E, London, 1889 to 1890. 
Mansfeld, Yap, 1997. Prolegomena, Questions to be Settled Before the Study of an Author or a Text. Brill Academic Publishers. Karl Johannes Neumann, Hippolytus von Rahm in seiner Stellung zu Staat und Welt, Part I Leipzig, 1902 Schmidt, T. C. and Nicholas, N., The Chronicon of Hippolytus, Second Edition English Translation, Rough Draft, 2010, Smith, Yancey W. 2008. Hippolytus Commentary on the Song of Songs in Social and Critical Context. Bright Divinity School at Texas Christian University. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed., 1911. Hippolytus Writer. Encyclopædia Britannica. 13 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. p. 519. Topic. Further reading Topic. Brent, Allen 1995. Hippolytus and the Roman Church in the 3rd Century, Communities in Tension Before the Emergence of a Monarch Bishop. Leiden, Brill. ISBN 90-04-10245-0. Serato, J. A. Hippolytus Between East and West, The Commentaries and the Provenance of the Corpus. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 0-19-924696-3. Eusebius 1927. The Ecclesiastical History and the Martyrs of Palestine. Hugh Jackson Lawler and John Ernest Leonard Olton, Trans. London, Macmillan. Grant, Robert 1970. Augustus to Constantine, The Thrust of the Christian Movement into the Roman World. New York, Harper and Row. Hippolytus 1934. Easton, Burton Scott, ed. The Apostolic Tradition of Hippolytus. New York, Macmillan. Hippolytus 2001. On the Apostolic Tradition, an English version with intrad, and commentary by Alistair Stuart Sykes, in Popular Patristics series. Crestwood, N.Y., St. Vladimir's Seminary Press. ISBN 0-88141-233-3. Mansfeld, Yop. Heresiography in Context, Hippolytus Elenchos as a Source for Greek Philosophy. Leiden, Brill. ISBN 90-04-09616-7. Quaston, Johannes Patrology, the Anti-Nicene Literature after Irenaeus. Westminster, M.D., Newman. Roberts, Alexander, Donaldson, Sir James, Cox, A. Cleveland, eds. 1971. The Anti-Nicene Fathers, Translations of the Writings of the Fathers down to A.D. 325, Hippolytus, Cyprian, Keys, Novation, Appendix. 5. Grand Rapids, Michigan, Eerdmans. Wordsworth, Christopher St. Hippolytus and the Church of Rome in the Early Part of the Third Century 2nd ed. London, Rivingtons. Topic. External links Topic. Refutation of all heresies Against notice The Apostolic Tradition of Hippolytus of Rome Anti-Nicene Fathers Vol. 5, Fathers of the Third Century, Hippolytus, Cyprian, Keys, Novation, Appendix Hieromartyr Hippolytus the Pope of Rome January 30th, Orthodox Icon and Synaxarian Encyclopedia Britannica, Hippolytus of Rome Patron Saints Index, Hippolytus Saint Hippolytus, martyr at the Christian Iconography website Here followeth the life of Saint. Hippolytus, martyr from Caxton's translation of the Golden Legend Colonnade statue in St. Peter's Square Works by or about Hippolytus of Rome at Internet Archive Works by Hippolytus of Rome at LibriVox Public Domain Audiobooks